T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff. Of this Station. isn't any ordinary countdown. It's NASA's fifth and final flight of the year, and after this one, there are just five more shuttle launches scheduled before the fleet is retired next year. The Atlantis Space Shuttle is on an 11-day mission to fortify the International Space Station, building up its store of replacement parts. The throttle-up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid-deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. Pump modules, gas tanks and a component for the space station's robotic arm are among the 30,000 pounds of equipment being transported. None of the other visiting spacecraft from Russia, Europe or Japan are big enough to carry such large pieces. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. So it's going to be a space-themed Thanksgiving for the six all-male crew, but they will return to Earth with a seventh member, Nicole Stott, who's been living at the space station for nearly three months. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer, standing by for external tank separation. The International Space Station is a $100 billion project of 16 nations and has been under construction for more than a decade. The space shuttle Atlantis has seen all that and more as the 24-year-old ship makes one of its last trips before being put and to bed. The bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit.